yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Seso here. There's a video here today where he's a Photoshop tutorial on how to create your very own cool, playful, bubbly stream revamp of some sort. Um, you can probably tell this is definitely Fall Guys related. I've been playing the hell out of the game. It's super, super fun. You can't lie. And I just think a lot of people would like the idea of how to make a graphic package that kind of looks and resembles like it. And if you're like a Fall Guys main on Twitch or YouTube or whatever, maybe you can use this idea to make your own stream graphics and you can learn how to do patterns. Also, two ways to do patterns. One way I used to do before was using libraries. If you don't know what that means, you can learn the video, but using libraries. But in the other video, I use random fills. And that also gives you a lot more variety and ideas. I think you're gonna learn something today. I think you will learn something today. And also, of course, you'll learn how to do layer style as well. So if you guys are not subbed, you guys can choose, of course, like, you know, unsubscribe, but I mean, you don't do it, but I'm saying you should sub and see, like, feel me out for like a, like a month or so and be like, all right, this guy's kind of cool if you guys are not subbed already. But with that being said, I'll talk to you guys later. Enjoy the video. And uh, yeah, that's it. Enjoy. All right, homies, so let's go ahead and break this down to make compiling the revamp way easier. So what ends up making these really clean, playful rebrands are patterns. There are two really good ways to create your patterns within Photoshop. One of the main ways is creating your pattern icon on a separate layer. So for me, I drew a crown to resemble the Fall Guys look, and I also wanted to make sure that the crown wasn't too small so that the pattern quality was also really good. After you guys create your icons, you want to have the libraries table open and select the bottom left plus icon and choose the option create from image. Afterwards, in your table, you want to make sure you go to the last pattern option and also lower your scale down. That way your icon can be seen in the preview. Feel free, of course, to change other options and even change the rotations a little bit to add a little bit of variation. But afterwards, you simply want to select the save button and the new pattern will be in your libraries panel under patterns. And for whatever reason, if you cannot find your libraries panel, make sure you guys go to windows library. And when you guys go to select new patterns, the new pattern is always on the top. Then to of course activate the pattern, just double click on it and play with your scale when the pattern table shows up and enjoy. Even though these patterns are awesome and widely used, another option of making patterns is using pattern fills, which give your patterns a lot more variety and rotation and placement. With your original created icons, to reminder, mine was the crown, you wanna use your rectangle marquee tool to make a selection around your pattern icon and go to edit and define pattern. Name whatever you would like and then just press okay. Keeping in mind the size of the icon when you selected it will be the size of each icon in the actual pattern. After that, you guys wanna make a full selection of your canvas and you can do that just by using the rectangle marquee tool once again and select the top left corner and then drag towards the bottom right corner to fully select your actual canvas. Then once you guys have your canvas selected, you wanna right click and choose fill and then under contents, you wanna use pattern. And you also wanna make sure that the script box is also selected. Also, be sure under the custom pattern that you guys scroll down till you find the pattern icon that you of course made. Then under the fill drop table, you guys wanna make sure you choose symmetry fill, then press okay, and then a table should actually pop up. What you guys wanna end up choosing under symmetry type is number 29 option, PM symmetry. Then you guys wanna put these settings from top to bottom. 0 0.7, 85, 65, and when you guys get to color randomness and brightness, even if you guys wanna change your settings from mine, the bottom two options will always be zero and zero. I also wanna go ahead and keep in mind the fact that of course the icon plays a very big role of the actual settings itself. If you guys do notice on the left hand side of your preview screen that the actual pattern itself is not a clean look, make sure you guys simultaneously change your width and your height going further down from the original 8565 just around to the preview actually shows a nice clean look to your pattern. It might take a couple tries to get it perfect but just know all you have to really change is the width and the height depending of course on your icon. Once you guys are done filling in your settings, you guys just press OK and then your pattern should have a little bit more randomness and also just give you a way more official look. Now it's time to move on to the actual text effect. The text effect itself is actually super simple and the font that we're actually gonna be using is called the luckiest guy. I will put it in the description down below, that way you guys can of course download and choose it for yourself. And for the record, the blue hex code that I'm actually using is 31D1DA. After you guys go ahead and write out your text, you guys wanna open up your layer styles. And you guys wanna use inner shadow. For your first inner shadow, you guys wanna use five distance, zero choke, and four size. You also wanna make sure that your color is a darker blue tone than the actual text effect color itself. Then you guys just go ahead and click the little plus button on the right hand side of the inner shadow to make a duplicate of the inner shadow. Then with the duplicate of your inner shadow, these settings should be applied. Eight distance, 92 choke, and two size. Then of course, this time, the color you actually wanna choose should be a lighter tone blue than the actual original color itself. These inner shadow settings will actually give your text a cool 3D bevel look. Then to top it off, you wanna use drop shadow with zero distance, 100 spread, and 17 size. And then make sure your color is white. And now this text effect itself creates a cool, fun, playful, almost game logo-esque feel to it. You can also save the text effect by selecting new style on the right hand side of your layer styles, and you'll have it every time you open up Photoshop in your top left styles panel. 
All you guys would have to do when changing colors is match the dark and lighter tones when you change your inner shadow to match the new color text. Then just like that homies, you have exactly what it takes to actually pull together a really cool playful stream layout with your new techniques. All right guys, so now that you guys are all good to go, you guys have the techniques for the pattern, you have the techniques of the text effect. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how simple it is to actually make your own stream revamp for it. And uh, we're just gonna start off with a starting soon screen. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just put um, stream, right? I like to put stream starting. So I'm gonna put the word stream, nice, the nice blue that you guys already know. Now, if you guys did before, like I said before, is if you chose new style after you made your layer style in the first place with the settings that I gave you guys, all I have to do is go to styles, click on the new one, and boom, it's already, it's already good for me to go. So now I can just take this, Drag this. We're going to put the word intermission. No, nope, we're set starting. So we'll do starting. There we go. Now with this one, I'm going to make it a little smaller. Okay, I'm going to change it to pink. Now with this pink, since I made it smaller as well, I also want to go ahead and go over here and change this to the tones that match. So pinker needs to be dark pink. There we go. And then pinker, <laughs> what the hell? And then we're going to change this one to a lighter pink right there. And just like so, you can just, that's how simple it is to change the color, by the way. All you have to do is just change the tones of the darker and lighter tone in your shadow and just make the same exact color, um, but just darker and lighter, you know, whatever new color you chose. So with this, I can see there's a little bit of white kind of going on here, but I don't want to overlay the actual starting soon screen too much or the word starting over stream too much. Um, if that's the case, I can just make a new layer right, right below it, take a nice white and just fill it in, right? That way kind of like I can cheat a little bit. There we go, right? Now it looks pretty freaking clean. So now I have that there. I'm gonna actually take the word stream, make a duplicate by holding alt, dragging it above. And the reason why, I'm just gonna choose the word soon and also turn off my layer style. So I'm gonna clear them. And I'm also gonna make this white, right? I'm going pretty fast because you guys pretty much already know how to do this. So we're already good to go, right? Put the word soon, boom, right on the corner. Looks pretty good. So now to do the actual, my flip flop. Um, how to do the actual pattern. I'm gonna go ahead and do the pattern really quickly. So I'm gonna make a new layer right marquee tool selection select the entire canvas as you guys know right click fill all the settings of pattern script and symmetrical fill and also chose my already custom pattern right here right or my icon that i did which is the crown press ok and of course the settings should be already set for me to go so i can just press ok again and as you guys see boom this is the second option so the first option will not give you a background as you guys know if i were to go to libraries and choose a library pattern it wouldn't give me a background so it's be easier to change the background color and also change your fill color or your pattern color separately however with the second option you will have a white background as your of course your background for the pattern random fill so what you guys will have to do is use a gradient. So my gradient that I have here, I use gradient map, okay? With gradient map, you can see you can just change like pink. So on my left-hand side is the highlight color and on the right-hand side is the shadow color. However, it might be opposite for me for this pattern, especially because white is actually the shadow color in this sense and then black, you guys get the idea. Right now you can see I have white on one side, pink on the other side, you can see how it looks. You can at least see the pattern. If I rotated this, if I inverse this, you'll see that it's white background pink. You guys get the idea, okay? So what I have here is the orange tone that Fall Guys would basically use. So on the far left side for my greeting editor, I have FC or FDCE14, okay? And on the far right node, I have FCC400. And in the middle, I actually have the hex tone FFD634. So with these hex toes, uh, hex codes, excuse me, and you want to change these three little nodes. So to add a node, you just click literally just like so. You can just add different nodes in. However, you also make sure your midpoints are favoring the right-hand side. So you can see this midpoint here usually is here. You just take this, drag it towards the right-hand side. You want to take this other midpoint and drag this towards the middle area here. That's how you get that really clean kind of Fall Guys look. And of course, once again, if you want to choose other colors, you don't want an orange background. Just one side would be white, one side would be other color. If you guys can't tell, obviously, if the white background is the other color, you just go over here where it says reverse and you just want to reverse it. Okay. Just so you guys know. So with that being said, that's pretty much good to go. I can just go ahead and finalize this stuff by just adding a little bit of random rectangles around, right? I'll just add this kind of cool, like dark bluish rectangle right there, right? Also add another rectangle because I can like right over here. Okay. You can just see how just building rectangles and squares and, and you can do circles. You can use whatever shape you want, but you can see me doing that kind of build a cool idea, right? So with Fall Guys as well, in this case, I'm using them as an example for this kind of like idea for the revamp, right? You have these circles. I can use these circles at, and put them inside my rectangles as well. Now to make these circles themselves, all I ended up doing is using the ellipse tool. And with the ellipse tool, I just, just simply just click once. When you have the tool selected, you can hold Alt and Shift. It'll make a perfect circle. And all I have to do is just make it a little more bigger, right? Now you want to turn your fill off, your stroke on. And then you just change this right here, the one point to like 45 to get your first circle in there. <clears throat> 
Then where your ellipse is right here, the ellipse layer, press Control J to make a duplicate. Control T to free transform and just make it bigger. Once again, by holding Alt, selecting one of the right hand side corners and just making it bigger while holding Alt, right? If you have your properties table open, you can just change it here. I'm just gonna do like 85, make it super, super thick, right? But if you're a fan of having on the top left, all the changing settings and stuff like that, press U on your keyboard. That'll bring back up or just have to really, realistically all you have to do is have the, uh, the shape tool selected again. And then of course, if your layer is selected, it will bring up the tools on the top left once again. So if you're more comfortable with that, you can just do it that way. However, that's exactly how you do it all you have to do is just keep just control j to make a duplicate them uh duplicate them and then just make more circles and rings to as many as your favorite you know however many you guys want um and then of course combine them together by holding the first layer holding shift selecting the last layer and all the layers in between by holding shift we can just merge them together by pressing control e and then you're just good to go right that was not what i wanted to do why is it doing that hello i'm moving that i'm pressing control e it's oddly doing that that's that's different oh do i have to like use uh smart object instead yeah so you have to use smart object not merge them you have to use smart object by the way so not control e to merge them you want to right click and choose smart object i forgot about that for some reason um anyway the pattern itself i can just drag this now into here okay i'll put it there we'll change the color as actually to a nice kind of grayish tone to match this black here right just like so i'm gonna take the same exact pattern put it on the pink right and take this just make the actual pattern color this time a darker pink however boom right and then i just clip mask it <laughs> excuse me i'll clip mask it to this one as well boom you can just kind of see how just adding more playful patterns adding more kind of like random rectangles and shapes you can just make some really cool things and to make another simple slide i'm gonna show you guys really quickly right i just combine this to, in a group and just call the next right Control j and make a duplicate and i'll just take everything else say yo i don't need you right now i delete literally everything i don't want i want the pattern though still dang I want to take the pattern though back. Take the pattern. Boom. Okay. To keep the pattern, I'm gonna just change the word starting to intermission. Okay, make that a little smaller. And if I could if I am gonna make it smaller, once again, make sure you change your inner shadow size to like two or so, right? And then change this to around like five or so. Then change your drop shadow to about like, you know, nine or so, right? And make sure you of course scale everything down together. Also, since you did put white in the background, we might have to move that as well and like do that over again. But for now, let's just actually take this, right? I don't need the word soon. Take the stream and intermission, put this on the corner, okay? Boom, right? We'll take another new layer right below the stream starting or stream intermission. Make a nice simple triangle shape on the top left. We'll fill this in with a nice dark uh, kind of grayish tone or a darker black. You can call it black, I guess, in this case, but delete the path, right? You can start seeing how you can start formulating something really cool. And since the document size, by the way, we are in is file new, by the way, file new, 1920 by 1080, 300 resolution. This is basically perfect camera quality size. So what I like to do is to make an actual camera quality or camera screen, right? I'll make a new layer. I'll just press alt backspace on the layer that'll quick fill any color. So it's really just, it doesn't really matter what color we choose, but alt plus backspace will quick fill a color in for you guys. Then you can just take control T right and then just shrink it down and then you can just drag this below your text and be like yo this is where my camera is going to be right so wherever you put this block is basically how you're going to you're going to cut it out and that's where your camera is going to be so if you guys do kind of like this idea idea and also of course you want to make sure that the actual text stays above the way you like to cut this thing out is your text right stays above it or anything you have above it whether you have a pattern or whatever stays above However, you just, I'm gonna hide this for a second, right? Take everything that's below this shape. So my background and this right here, right? Take this, so I'm gonna select this layer, hold shift, select the bottom layer, merge it together. I'm gonna hide this rectangle. I'm gonna hold control my keyboard, select the uh, thumbnail of the actual, uh, the, the camera rectangle itself. And then I'll just press delete on my keyboard, right? Let me hide this as well, so the other layer below it, but boom, delete on my keyboard. Then it's transparent, obviously, right? Then I'll just turn on my like my layers again, my stream starting or stream intermission um, text, and then boom, what you would do is you would go to File, Export, Save for Web, and you would use PNG24, and that way, when you guys do save it, you use, of course, on your stream labs, you would use a image, and your camera will basically go below it, and it makes it super easy for you guys to keep things in front, uh, in front of the actual canvas, so that way, everything doesn't have to be behind it, right? You also have things in front of it. So, um, what Fall Guys also likes to do, because I, I, I want it to be Fall Guys themed, right? <clears throat> We're gonna make a rectangle here, pink rectangle. I'm gonna put BRB because it's an emission screen. We'll also make it white. What they like to do is use solid shapes. After they use solid shapes with nice little white text, they'll just take a nice drop shadow, okay? 
and we'll just make this a darker pink. And also take the spread down, put the distance up, lower the opacity, as you guys can see the settings right here. Press OK, and then I like to do something like this. And then we'll take the actual uh, rectangle here as well, make the stroke a nice little bit white. And then now I can set this baby up. Of course, it'll be in front of the camera as well. So all this stuff, you can still keep, keep building things and keep building ideas. You can even have like a random character of any sorts or whatever you want to have. It, it doesn't really matter because the entire background is now transparent. Anything you put in front will just stay in front. But also keep in mind your camera will get covered and covered and covered. So keep it clean. But you can see how simple the idea is. And this is where we're actually going to end up stopping for today's video because I gave you guys, I think, plenty of ideas and variations and inspiration. Hopefully you can take it and run with it. I would highly suggest you guys to go check out my other Stream revamp layouts and also apply them to this video here and take the layout from the other videos and just take the text effect and color and concept from the this video and combine them together and make some really cool ideas so um yeah hopefully that was it and you guys enjoyed today's video um with that being said i will talk to you guys later also you guys like the new setup right i have a i have my, my plaque here and i have a nice little simple picture here Right, and I also got rid of the Fiji water bottle thing. We're not even sponsored, bro. I just, I just like, I just like water, okay? Um, yeah, but that's that's it. I'm done for today's video. I'll talk to you guys later. Sets up HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking ready, guys. Um, I love you guys very much. Of course, if you're not subbed already, please be sure to sub. And uh, you know, maybe you want to comment down anything you want to see me do in the future videos down below, and I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna do it. Uh, that's it. Love you guys. Peace.